We can miss class to no consequences. Yeah. Hey guys, Samuel here. Yesterday was the convocation ceremony for the first degree guys who graduated at Slavtech. I don't know how to put it, but you understand know, what I'm saying. So we're able to speak with some of them and yeah, let me bore you with the details. See for yourself. So good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's your name, sir? My name is Dibola Dibupo Sans. My name is Samuel. I'm Balikis Abdukarim. My name is Mr. Ridwan Anifoshi Oladi. My name is um, Olale Yemobolaji. Yeah, nice name, nice name. Yeah, yeah your name I is know, nice. Know, right? Oh my God! Wow! My name is Rita. My name is Olai Katsulayo. Nice, also known as Tiola. Yeah, it's popularly called Tiola. Tiola in Lautek. My name is Akira Gwayola Philip. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, you're looking good. Yeah, I like the outfit. Nice, 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 nice. How do you feel about today? I feel elated. Well, I'm feeling joyful. <laughs> I feel delighted, hopeful, and uh, I feel encouraged. Well, I'm very happy. Let me say I'm very happy because it has not been easy. From PD days, on your level, through our swipe on your level, plus the acid strike and the internal strike. <laughs> wow, wow, Glory wow. be to Almighty God. It wow. hasn't been easy, but we thank God. Thank God. And what set did you graduate from? Because six sets are complicated today. Okay, I graduated from 2020-2021. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. 2021. 20 plus 20. I suppose to have done it here. I suppose to have done it here. What? You're already dead. 2019 to 2020. Wow, we are the first set. That's 2015, 2016. Wow, 2015, 2016. To me, yeah, we have the vice president for the SUD. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we have the loud text here in non-government vice president with us here, and we'll be asking some questions for Matt today. Um. Your most memorable experience in school up to now because she's still with us but we give honor to whom honor is due as she's the vice president that's why she's that's why she's on gown today your most memorable moment in school huh? um for me the most memorable moment in this school would be when i was elected by over 5,000 students on campus to represent them as the number one female student on campus We have a lot of moments memorable, but I'll just mention a few. Uh, during the pre-degree program, you know, the anxiety that we be admitted, all those times they are so memorable, even though they are cumbersome, but we thank God for today, it's a success story. Then, during our final year exam, before the exam, we, we had so many problems. We encountered so many problems from the states. We have so many strikes, then and so on and so forth. So the memory between there is that we're able to graduate with good results. We thank God for that. So and today is one of those the special memorable day too. Um, I remember the day I argued inside a test hall because of my seat. That's all. And, and I remember the day that I almost, I almost defecated on my body. <laughs> Because I was feeling so, so oh, pressed. So wow. pressed. I was feeling so <laughs> pressed. I remember running. Wow. Trying to face down. Wow. To I understand the feeling. Wow. If you're in FA, you have a lot of mem uh, moments, a lot of memories. Because from your practical, when the lecturer will have to come, I'll be like, this is what I have to, what I ask you to do. You have to destroy it and start again. It's not as if they are um, criticizing you as, okay, criticizing is part of artwork, work, right? It's not as if they are being harsh. They're just trying to let you be a better person because when you do the first one and you're not doing it better you have to do the second one that you learn from your mistakes so i let me just say fine arts is one of the greatest as the best department in this house when you come to fine arts you learn a lot of things and a lot of disciplines because it's about practical what you have in your head not what somebody has written you have to read and write for example it's what you can bring out yourself your your, your creativity. creativity yeah that is what fa is all about so in fa you have to, you have a lot of memories and a lot of moments so i will really miss this plan i will miss my department of my sex well, that's nice, that's nice. Ah, man, most memorable experience. I can't think of any. I can't think of any right now. Huh? You don't have any experience in your school? I have, I have, I have, I have, but I'm trying to think of one right now. All right, all right. why do you think of that one? Advice for students, undergraduates like myself. Okay, uh, my advice for students um, is that, well, your, your, the reason why you came to school, majorly, is to come and make good grades, right? Yeah. And, um, 
the advice is that stick to that reason or stick to that to that purpose because uh, if you come to school when there are a lot of things that will drag your attention right so stick to what brought you to school and stay there but on the other hand if um, if your academics is not working that's not the end even though your academics is working that's also not the end you should also find something to do in Lautech you have you have um, you are not limited to what you can do right you're not like if it if, if that was a um, private sector private university yeah. there are a lot of limitations but if for Lautech your limitations are few there's no limitations you can do you can be at your best you can miss class to no consequences yes I, I'm not meaning <laughs> Yes, actually, you can, you can miss some classes, no consequence, and you can use that time to build yourself, right? Some guys do not come to class, but they are still the top in the, top in the class, right? Yeah. So it's because even when they don't miss class, they invest the time. Even though they are not topping their class, they are topping their vocation, they are topping their personal skills, right? And they will later employ those people at attending class. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how it goes. Yeah. Thank you very much. You have not, you have not, you have not remembered your most memorable experience yet, yet. Ah, most memorable experience. Okay, let me just say this one. Um, when I was, when I was, I was actually ad admitted with, um, with um, anatomy. Like I was admitted in anatomy, but I'm graduating with, um, I'm graduating from mechanical engineering. Wow, right. wow, wow! So, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, cool. no. Any advice to the students to graduate undergraduates like me? Just the point is that I'm mean, for example, please try as much as to get the best grade you can get because somehow when you get to your final years, you said you are going to regret almost not having that grade. Wow. You will regret trying not just giving that little more effort to get to a good grade. See, try as much as to get the best grade you can get in this school. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Any advice I want for students? All right, sir. I would like to say, uh, if you're a student, Try to have much fun that you want, but the first thing that, you, that must be at the back of your mind is your priority, and that's your education. After your education, everything else is... Just try to have friends, have fun, and make it a lively one. Yeah. For the second one, my memorable moment in school is... Every moment in school is very memorable. Wow, wow, wow. First of all, the major reason why you're in school, which is education, to get educated, that must be priority. Then every other thing, like activities that comes alongside with schooling, so just making every moment count. So progressing can of course do that. So education first. Education first to um I'm going to divide my advice today into two. The first advice I want to give out to is to people communicating today that each I was glad to see that most of the best graduating students in each faculty yeah. were most majorly and mostly females. And I was like, wow, like uh, my females are doing something. Are doing something. Yes, you can imagine. And my advice to them is that um, this is just a starting point. They should never limit themselves. They are, they are still going to become greater and higher than what they are now. And my advice to female students on campus currently is for them to, number one, because I'm majorly on the academic sector, so I would like to start from there. And that's number one. Their primary assignment on campus, they should not forget that. And my second advice is that as a female, do not feel intimidation. intimidation by whatsoever thing just like put yourself in the limelight express yourself at the maximum pace that you can and at the same time out of like nine executives I'm just the only female student there what am I just I, I came out just to make female students see that you don't, we don't have to just leave it to the guys we can also rule and still come out excellently great break the bias yes break the bias thank you any advice for under graduates like myself who are still in school? Well, according to our motto, should I say motto, our slogan that intimidation we can do not. Yeah. Don't ever be intimidated because, you know, we have the real life and the fake life. So don't ever be intimidated. Be contented with whatever you have. With your parents, everything, your department, everything. Just know what whosoever you have, be who you are. Don't try to be somebody else. And one last thing. Um, how does school life differ from the outside world? Because I guess you have had a little experience of how outside is and how school is so is yeah. there about that? you know being in school your parent and you have to depend on a lot of stuff but outside you know that you have nowhere to go to when a problem faces you you have to face it back but in school you know you will like you have to manipulate my way but uh -huh. thank god child. that is just it thank like, you very much thank you very much uh, basically i'll just tell them that they have to be steadfast 
they have to be focused and most importantly be prayerful because uh, prayer is the key and more importantly even if you pray all work all prayers without work is what is dead so you have to be prayerful be hopeful be optimistic and be focused so sky is, sky is the beginning for you so that's all for now that's just the advice so we have so many other things to tell you but just to cut this short that is the basic thing thank you very much sir <laughs> you have a serious face on oh, so, a tongue twister for you ma all right Red lorry, yellow lorry. Let's see how fast you can say that. How many times am I going to say that? Do you break, ma? <laughs> Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get